while I was in England, this big nurseryman found out about me. Um, he, noted, he got hold of me and asked me to design a Japanese garden for him at the nursery. And he had this great big section, it was kind of narrow, but it had three teardrops coming down. And he had water coming down there. So Japanese landscaping is done by freehand. Nothing's measured out. It's always by sight. You're looking at the sight. This goes here, this goes there. So I designed it with a, a Japanese bridge, a tea house, a kneeling pond with three waterfalls. But they didn't have the stones I needed. I want, um, I'm always used to working with granite. It's a harder stone. Their stones are like sandstone and they're very crumbly. Eventually, we'll all, we'll all dissipate. So we devised a way to color concrete and made, in, made our stones out of concrete. And that was very tedious. But, um, I was back in England last year to see my grandkids. And the design, the landscaping is still there. And my daughter said, wouldn't you like to come see your, your garden? I said, no, it's OK. So everything is now is matured, the, the shrubs and everything. And I told the, the owner, if you get these pine logs, and you kind of rough it up a little bit, and take a blowtorch. Don't burn the wood too heavy. Just light, just scar it, and then lacquer it. That that gave the effect of old timber. So that's what he did, and it's still there. <laughs>